to log into your name chip account what you want to do is to come over to the side that says sign in and put in your username and password now once you're done putting in your username and password you click on sign in and then you will be asked to provide a verification code from your email so go get that code and paste in here now after pasting that code you click on submit and then you have access to your name chip account now this is what the dashboard looks like now we want to see how to renew the hosting account the domain name and also SSL for your website so there are two ways to go to renew your hosting domain and SSL you can renew them individually or you can renew them as a bundle so what i mean as a bundle is that you're renewing both the hosting account the domain name and the ssl all together at once so we're going to go with the first method which is renewing the services one by one and when i mean services i mean the hosting account is a service the domain name is a service the ssl is a service or a product according to name chip if you want to renew individually right remember this is the first method and in this first method we want to see how to renew products when i mean product i mean the hosting account the domain name the ssl individually so let's say we want to renew the hosting account what you need to do is come over to the side that says hosting list now when you click on hosting list you're going to see um the hosting plan you're going to see the option to auto renew and now you're going to see renew which is the option we're looking for all you need to do is to click on renew You click on renew and it adopts to that so what i want to do is to clear this item and go back you can see how easy that was all you need to do when you come to this place is go over to the side that says renew when you click on renew the price will be added to your shopping cart and then you can proceed with the payment now this is what we will also do for domain if you want to renew just the domain name what we need to do is come over to the side that says domain list click on it domain list and we want to do the same thing head over look for the particular domain you want to renew and head over to this place that says renew it's that simple the same thing if you want to do for SSL come over to this place that says renew so by the time you do all of this individually all of them will be added to your shopping cart and from there you can proceed with payment all right so this is the first method now the second method is to renew everything at once right that's the option i call the book option all right and i'm going to show you how to do that this is my favorite and i'm going to be showing you how to do this to do this you need to head over to this place that says expiring slash expired so you click on this option now under the domain you can see we only have the domain name listed here and if we want to add this to our shopping cart all we need to do is to click on this icon and it will be added to the shopping cart now on the other tab which says product let's click on that now if you click on this tab that says product you will see that under this tab you have the SSL certificate and also you have the Stella which is the hosting space so what you need to do is to also add this one and this one to the shopping cart so we're going to start from here let's actually start from the domain name i'll go back to the domain name and i'll just click on this icon to add this service to the shopping cart and then i'll go over to the next tab that says product and i'm also going to do the same thing for the ssl i'll click on this and also click on the hosting space so now i've clicked on both they would be added to the shopping cart and also the domain name must also be added when i mean the domain name under the domain tab 
this domain name must also be added to the shopping cart so the next thing i want to do is to click on this play that says view cart so here i have all the details of the services or rather product that i want to renew and then confirm my order so if you want to pay attention to the informations here number one we have the domain name all right so you're renewing for one here and if you want this to be on auto renew all you need to do is to turn on this button that says auto renew but at the moment it is off it is turned off because the intention in this video is not to turn it on but if you are doing yours and you feel you want to turn it on to make sure you click on this button here and the service will be on auto renewal all right so one here which is fine that's what we want and then we'll go we'll look into the next one stella which is the hosting space look at the price one here that's okay now you want to pay attention to this plate that says um, renew positive SSO as you can see it's showing five years but we're not renewing for five years the goal is to renew for one year so what you want to do is to specify that you want to renew for one year and click on one year now you notice that the price will reduce okay now you show that the price has reduced you're no longer being charged for five years but you want to be charged for one year you just want to look through the other services and make sure everything is okay before you proceed or confirm your order so everything looks fine everything looks okay um positive ssl which is one here the hosting space stellar which is one here as well and for the domain renewal is also one here so the next thing you want to do is to click on this place that says confirm order so you click on confirm order and this is where you specify your payment method and put in your payment details or rather your card details so i'm specifying i want to pay with my card and that would require me to put in my card details so feel free to do this with your own card details thank you for watching this video i believe you got value from this video do not forget to subscribe to this channel and share this video with friends share this video with your circle and also turn on the notification button so that every time i upload a new video you'll be aware of the upload